I've taken on the role to uh, coordinate the Young Cultural Ambassadors Program organized by American Turkish Association of Washington, D.C., uh, which is a volunteer uh, organization that has been promoting Turkish culture and uh, providing educational programs for the Turkish Americans and non-Turkish Americans in the DME area for over 50 years. And the Young Cultural Ambassadors Program of uh, ATADC was started last year. The aim is to firstly uh, reach out to both Turkish American and non-Turkish uh, youth living in the DC, Maryland, uh, Virginia area. And we would like to encourage them to volunteer and we would like to also encourage them to promote cultural diversity, celebrate cultural diversity and uh, promote cross-cultural bonding. My name is Amber Golden. I um, go to Walter Johnson High School. I'm a junior, uh, 16 years old. And I had the privilege this year of being a young cultural ambassador in this program. My name is Eric Taloon. I go to James Madison High School, and I am a junior this year. My name is Lara Veraktar. I'm 16 years old, and I go to Churchill High School. Uh, my name is Ege Chivik. I'm 17 years old. Uh, I'm a junior at uh, Woodbridge Senior High School. I was part of this program the first year. Well, I heard this program through uh, family friends. Uh, we had a few family friends last year that, during the first year, they did the program, and then through them, I was encouraged to do it and I went through with it and did the sign up and it's been a very good good use of my time this year and it's brought a lot of fun to me. I heard about it in the media, I heard other people talking about it at my school actually and I thought it would be a great idea to look into it. Uh, this is my second year in the Young Culture Investors program. I, I came back because um, I, I like making the friends and I know everybody here. This year we had about 20 students uh, who applied to this program and it's not just Turkish Americans, it's actually a very diverse group uh, which is the best thing about this program, uh, we all believe. Uh, for example, we have exchange students from Pakistan, Palestine, uh, we have members from our African American community from the DMV area and from other communities, uh, from our other local communities. And they are all uh, very enthusiastic and very bright students who, who are already uh, very appreciative of uh, diversity. They love meeting new people. They love learning about their own culture, but at the same time about other culture. I participated in the Library of Congress event and went to the wing of the Library of Congress where they held the Turkish books. We learned a little bit of Turkish scripts that were given to the Library of Congress by the Ottomans, seeing the different styles of writing in the past compared to the present and what may have led to the cause of change. Some of the activities that we have uh, held this year is, for example, they have attended um, the textile museum's uh, exhibition on Anatolian Kilims. Uh, George Washington University's textile museum had a very amazing um, organization this year. They also had the chance to attend Turkish Coffee Workshop where they learned about the history of uh, Turkish coffee and they also met new people there. When I hear the term culture, um, there's so many things that come to mind. First, food, obviously, but also language, religion, um, traditions, uh, so many things. Um, I, and I think it's, culture is really significant in people's lives. It, I mean, anywhere that there's people, there's culture, so um, it's everywhere. It's how you interact with people. It's what you believe in. It's so many things. The best thing I like about the Turkish culture is that um, everybody's friendly to each other um, because you're, uh, it's like you're one of us. And um, I also like the food in Turkey. <laughs> HA DC has been organizing the awards winning uh, DC Turkish festival for uh, 16 years by now. And the Young Cultural Ambassadors program is also kind of related to the activities um, of the Turkish Heritage Month, which has been uh, organized in September since 2012. Uh, in addition to cultural events, we also aim to um, give them the chance to 
start networking. Uh, I think it's never too early. And they, these are students living in DMV area. And once they go to college and after college, they will really uh, make use of the friends that they make now. So we try to give them the opportunity to start networking early. We took them to Library of Congress and then we also had the chance to meet with uh, Congresswoman Virginia Fox. Students, high school students who are interested in such program can actually follow us on Facebook or they can visit our website uh, at atadc.org or our festival website, turkishfestival.org. The announcements about the application process will be shared there, most likely uh, at the beginning of summer next year. I got a lot out of this program. I think it was just learning about me and other cultures besides Turkey, mostly Turkish culture. I learned the different foods and the different places that average Turkish Americans go to. And I think that if I could take away one thing out of this program, it would be that I got to meet new people that weren't necessarily just Turkish Americans. And I got to see how big the Turkish American community was in the DC area. And I thought that was very beautiful.